going to say goodbye to Catherine, um, and I'm joined by a different Catherine. This time is Kath Bishop, and we have a heat of the Princess Royal Challenge Cup between Lisa Schienard of the Netherlands and uh, Cole Hussein, uh, Jordan Lay Lara Cole Hussein uh, on the right. Um, who came through the qualifiers to be here racing in the single. Hello, Kath. Hi. Yeah, good to be here. This is quite a tough match-up here, though, isn't it? Yeah, it certainly is. Well, um, we've got on the left Lisa Sheenard. She won this event back in 2016 up against uh, Cole Hussein. Yeah, she has a lot of experience, Lisa Sheenard. She was runner-up 2015. She came back the next year and won it. And, of course, we saw her win the first... Uh, World Cup event this year, so she's got a lot of experience, um, and so she is going to be, I'm sure, just showing how it's done this afternoon. Well, she came here to race, and she was thinking of doubling up in the, the double and the single, uh, choosing to race here just in the single, as we have a look at the scholar Paul Hussein in the uh, Thames kit, uh, with those Thames blades in front of us. What a great opportunity for her. This is where Henley is so special that someone who's you know, only raced Henley Roll once before, uh, she was in the double in 2017 in the Stoner Challenge Cup, so that someone like that can, can qualify, can, can come through and get to race against somebody who's top class, who's a regular at the World Championships, who's won this event before. Well, as you say, these are special moments to be able to race on the Henley course, and we move down here somewhere around the mile marker. And we see the back of Lisa Sheenard on the right of our shot uh, with Cole Hussein in the Thames boat beside her. And uh, I was speaking to Lisa Sheenard yesterday and she said um, she's designed this all-in-one racing suit um, and they're looking to sell it. Um, and any proceeds are going towards a charity which allows children to have better access to sport. So if anyone likes this uh, all-in-one she's wearing, please check out her Instagram um, and you can also buy that suit and look like Lisa Sheenard. Yeah, brilliant, brilliant. And that's the, the power of sport, isn't it? That actually, once you become uh, you know, a, a, an international rower, an Olympian, then people look up to you and you have an opportunity to influence, to actually get some messages out there to support, to give back. And sport is a fantastic way of doing that. Well, absolutely. And I think the thing that we get is that the experience of actually just doing sport, whether it's at Olympic level or whether it's just at club level, um, going down to a, a local club, and we've seen some of those clubs already today uh, within the, uh, within, well, all around the country. I don't want to call any out specifically, but um, people getting the joy of rowing, doing it at your first club. You think about the experiences, the trust you gain, the self-belief you gain, the relationships you gain with teammates. To think if sport can allow that and if uh, Lisa Sheenard can help to promote this charity which give, gives children more opportunities to experience what a lot of us have experienced in the sport of rowing or other sports, I think it's fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. And she is enjoying her row out there, Lisa Sheenard. She's able to show off the uh, all-in-one because she's not into rate so high, so we're getting more of a view of it. But she's a classy rower, but I think... Uh, you know, looking to find out which boat should she be in. You know, she was fifth in the World Championships um, last year in a double. The year before that, she was fifth in the single. So she's looking to find what's the crew where she can really step onto the podium. Oh, great back shot of the design there. Well, we can see a really nice picture there, and um, some of our uh, viewers may have a better view of exactly what it is we're looking at. To me, it's got to be Amsterdam, right, doesn't it? With the uh, bridges on the right. Um, the windmill on the left. Loving the windmill. Du Dutch landmarks, for sure. Dutch landmarks, for sure. So, um, yeah, you fancy getting hold of one of those all at once. Um, and the proceeds go to that very worthy sounding charity. We see this shot from the progress board. Lisa Sheenard looking in pretty good control of this one in the Princess Royal Challenge Cup. Yep, she definitely is going to be preparing herself for some much tougher races to come because there's a really good entrance here. And we've got Emma Twig. It's going to be fantastic to see them racing. We've got some strong uh, opponents that will be facing her at the weekend. Yeah, so looking forward to races further on in the week. Um, but we're seeing Lisa Sheenard coming across the line there ahead of Jordan Lara, Cole Hussein from Thames Rowing Club. And confirmation there of that win in the Princess Royal Challenge Cup.